you want a brawler, this is your character. If you want a character, Hellboy, let's go through his normal attacks first. He has basically two options here. Punch you in the face. Or punch and, you. And bop you in the head. <laughs> That's this guy's normal attacks. His combos are very simple, very straightforward. He's just bashing you. Oh, would you like an order of punch with a side of more punching? Mm-hmm. There's two main normals that I wanted to show. Okay. This 4 two, three has really great range, and it's a mid, and it pops up, and it's safe. So this is like his core, like, neutral game move. And you can go and do a special move to start a combo, which I'll show later. The second one is actually a kick. It's a high hoof. High hoof. <laughs> and it ends in a slam down. And again, tremendous range. Like, I can actually be at the start of the stage. And, and bull moves are relatively fast. For such little legs, they have so much reach. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Derek. You're welcome. And then lastly, his back one is a combo starter, a low. He does not have a really fast overhead. Hellboy is not meant to be like a overhead low mix-up character. He's just a brawler up close. He's just swinging his So he's, not, he's not about the mix. This is not... There is one special move that's about the mix, but up close... This is not a finesse character. You're not doing cancels. You're not going into stances. If you want Hellboy and you just want to take a big rock hand and punch someone in the jaw, that's Jeez, Hellboy. Jeez, Steve. What level of hype are you at right now? <laughs> like, I mean, his back three is just hype. It, like, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, okay, I bet White Boy is probably, like, really enjoying this because that's the kind of character this you would like be to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, yeah if, if you want a character that's like, all right, here's my five, like, Bop you on the head moves that you go. So let's go with this throw. He actually uses the legendary King Arthur sword Excalibur straight from Merlin. Look at that. Only uses it for very special occasions. From the stone. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so let's go over his special moves. Let's do it. Somebody asked on the stream chat, command grabs? Command grabs? Tell me more. Well, he's got this one. It is a true command grab. You cannot block it, but you can duck it. It is a high. However, the nice thing is it acts as a combo extender if you meter burn. Oh. If you're it? not really bad. <laughs> Steve's old and washed up. There it is. He went with a down two. Why not? All right. So that's going to be one of his main combo extenders, and it's a pretty decent mix-up tool. He also has an anti-air grab where he slams them down. And if you meter burn this, it's also a combo extender. So that will lead to a lot of his BMB stuff. Like, you'll do the anti-air grab, and then you get a back three. So a lot of his stuff does have, when you meter burn it, it is to extend the combos. Exactly. Normally without meter, he's not really like a combo character. He's so just he's a brawler. Use, yeah, he just kind of punches you in the face a bunch, and then Boom. you got to meter burn it. All right. What else does he have, Steve? He also has some slight zoning with his Devil's Revolver. This is not meant to be like a dead shot, wrist shot, or a... Dr. Fate pew pew. Pew, 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 but it's a projectile that can get the job done, and he sure. can actually hold it and then dash out of it. He also has an anti-air one, and the meter burn one just blows you away. It also has, shout out to our sound team, an amazing sound effect when you meter burn it. Secondly, he has a the Devil's Shoulder, which is very reminiscent of Doomsday. Ooh, so Doomsday players are really going to actually like a Doomsday lot of players what are going to like this. They're going to like this character for many reasons. If you meter burn it, he slams you down. And on block, you can actually do this, and you can change the timing to do it early or late, and it's actually advantageous on block. Ooh. So you can see he can do it, and then he is plus, and he's not right next to you. Right. It's not like he gets like a, oh my god, he gets a block infinite now, but he stays safe, he stays plus, and then he can kind of go into his stuff. Like, you could do that, and then do the string, and four, two, three, and kind of check them sure. if they try to backdash or whatever. They throw a command grab out? You could do a command grab. You could do a jump attack. Gotcha. Then he has a really unique move. He has this leap attack. Ooh. And he could do a close version, a far version. They all look the same right now. So you're there, a far version. <laughs> now, this is what's interesting. Tell this me is more. the move I was talking about as mix. So you have a, a relatively straightforward power character, and then you throw this in. And to me, he kind of plays like a mix between Cheetah and Doomsday. So Ooh. here's what you can do. You'll notice this is a low when it hits. Yep. And if you meter burn it, just, just basic sounding. Like <laughs> so there's a lot you can do with this. Uh -huh. You can actually air dash out of it. Ooh. You can air dash, back dash out of it. So let's say that you think they're going to try to anti air, and then you can go into this move. Can you do normal attacks out of it? You can. Tell me more, Steve. For example, Ooh. you can go straight into attack. And now, overheads are jump attacks are overhead, which means if they sit there and block, you're going to do that. If you think they're going to try to duck, you can go into a jump attack. You can awesome. also go past them. 
And you can also just land, cancel it, and do nothing at all. Sure. So to me, his mix-up game is going to be a lot about this leap move. You're going to be doing the leap by itself, doing the leap over them, then crossing them up. All kind of weird shenanigans. Because and you want to close the space with Hellboy. Exactly. Because his walk speed is not the best, but his dash is really, really fast, mm -hmm. but it doesn't like go super, super far. So to me, his mobility is all going to be about this leap of doom. His walk isn't very fast, but it's menacing. It looks absolutely awesome. Look like, at, like looking like down the, at him. That's so he's good. Yeah. big. He's going to look down yeah. at everybody. So one thing people probably didn't expect when we showed him in the, in the, in the uh, trailer is that he controls the air better than you might expect. Yeah, he also has an air dash using his demon powers. He can just air dash, period. So on the ground, he's like this really simple, straightforward tank, like powerhouse footsies character. And then in the air, he's going crazy. So I think like 50% of your game is going to be like this methodical spacing with forward two and going into block pressure. But then 50% of your mind is going to be ah, going crazy, just doing leaps and diving over people. And he'll appeal to maniac players. So next time you scream out loud, let me know because I like to scream too. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So let's talk about his character power. Ooh. His character power is he uses a bunch of charms and artifacts and they give him buffs. It's very similar to Wonder Woman. However, unlike Wonder Woman, you can choose which buff you use. Now, unlike Wonder Woman, they have a long cooldown period. So she could use hers constantly and they're random. He has to choose, but he's going to have to be smart. So he has four different buffs he can use. One of them increases the damage he does. And you can see he uses the artifact and he gets his devil horns. And this increases the damage he does. He's got the little crown up there. Another one decreases the damage Ooh. he takes. Okay. A third one is actually a Resurrect. When he has the bell active, if he is killed in the second round, he will actually come back to life, but only when that is active. As you look, it, it, it moves pretty fast. Yes, oh, that yeah. That goes down fast, yeah. Yeah, and then lastly, he has armor. So, you activate it, and then he actually has armor that he can just walk through attacks, take everything. And you saw that in the trailer when... Cyborg was trying to zone him out. And he actually was able to just walk through it. Boom. Now, this has a pretty lengthy cooldown, and he can only absorb, I think it's six hits before it breaks. Sure. But it is very, very good. And I think they're, you know, again, Doomsday players are going to be feel at home here. Cool. Now, he's still taking damage. Yes, he's still taking damage, and he will go into somewhat of a hit reaction, but it is not a normal hit reaction. And he is fully armored. Let's take a look at the uh, super. Very good. Awesome. You know, before the, before the match, he's like, I'm going to put that axe I was just down, in, that. down in hell just in case this goes crazy. So, Conveniently recently on Absolutely. Twitter, we had that image of Hellboy in gear for Halloween. Yep. And a lot of people wanted to see his gear because it was a really cool preview. Sure. I have some loadouts. Cool. Let's see it, Steve. A lot of people actually didn't believe that they were actual costumes. His gear is wild. I like it a yeah, lot. He's got a lot of crazy yeah. stuff. <laughs> this one's my favorite. <laughs> so, in this loadout, I gave him a guard move where instead of his shoulder, he gets this move where he then can walk and he will absorb projectiles. And if you meter burn it, you take virtually no damage at all. So if you're playing a match where you're really getting zoned out and even the shoulder and the leap are not good enough and they control the air, you got the guard. I also gave him a low grab where he scoops Ooh. them up and it'll actually do dot damage. He's actually hitting them with a mystical nail. And if you meter burn it, you get a combo. So that's, that's another combo. combo extender and it's a low grab. So, one Great more loadout. Combo, Steve. <laughs> you got nothing to say. We didn't even talk about his beautiful flame pants, man. Yeah, the flame pants were cool. And this Ooh. one is my more, he's embracing his demonic side. Uh. He's no longer trying to dress like a human. He's comfortable with his horns. He doesn't have his jacket on. He's pure demon hellboy. Still smoking. Yep. Well, yeah, Try I mean, to. he still has his vices. It's hard to quit. Uh, yep. Here we go. So here... I gave him the tears. He throws down angel tears on the ground that actually go full screen and travel. And if you meter burn it, it acts as an awesome combo extender. This tree comes up, and then you can combo into it. 
These are all lore based. Off of These are material. yeah. All the artifacts, everything he uses is all lore based. It's super cool. And I have one more bonus loadout. Ooh, bonus loadout. Bonus, bonus, bonus okay. loadout. Okay. You're so good to us, Steve. Oh. Is yeah, I really like, like this coat. Steampunk. I oh. also I like I like the fist, and I also really appreciate the horseshoe mm -hmm. on his belt. He's got I exhaust would, on his fist. I, yeah, and we went with the gold tournament shader. Oh. Yes. Oh. Well, yeah. So in this loadout, I gave him two abilities that enhance his zoning. This one gives him an air shot, a downward angled air shot, and then his meter burn guns turn into triple guns. That works for all of them. Anti air oh, one will be great. triple, the straight one will be triple, and then if you have this equipped, you get triple. So, if you're a zoning player, you really want to zone, but you want to play Hellboy, there you go. I love it. So that's Hellboy. Very so good. cool, so cool. So like we said, Hellboy will be available the 14th. The 14th. Yep. For those of you with the special editions that you purchased, you know, the ones that get you, get you the week early. And that's also when the trial version The trial will be. Means, so you can see if you want to play Hellboy, mm -hmm. and you will want to play Hellboy. We yeah. have a lot of things starting on the 14th. Yeah, next week is pretty full of content. Mm -hmm. And I'm super excited for the Justice League movie. 